Hi everybody, hope your day's been a good one so far. So last night saw the community update video drop for Star Wars Battlefront 2 for June and I gotta tell you, there is a serious sick amount of stuff coming out for it in this month. I'm not gonna go over it, there is a voiceover in the video that I'm about to play. Suffice to say, if you're a Star Wars fan and you haven't got yourself a cut of this game already because of all the bad hype that happened millions of years ago, then do yourself a favor. Go pick it up for about $5 and get yourself in the game. It is a totally different kettle of fish to what was released a couple of years back with brand new characters, vehicles, you name it, levels, game modes. We've been getting more game modes in August. No one knows what it's gonna be. This game is really kicking off these days. Capital Supremacy, new maps again. There's a plethora of new stuff coming out for this. So I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna play the community update. Have a little look. We're gonna get Droidicus. Let's do this. Hello there. I am Dennis Branval from the Star Wars Battlefront 2 team. In this update, Droidicus finally roll out on the battlefront. TX-130 tanks reinforces the Galactic Republic and capital ships station themselves above Naboo in capital supremacy. Also, more appearances arrive to the Clone Army and Anakin Skywalker. The Separatist Droidica is a dreaded and tough force in battle with its heavy twin blasters and protective energy shield. The Laser Barrage, a burst of menacing, high-rate blaster fire, is an effective way to clear the area of targets. While slow on three legs, the Droidica can transform itself into a wheel and roll rapidly between positions on the battlefront. At the expense of firepower and mobility, the energy shield is a practical tool in a pinch. The TX-130, on the other hand, reinforces the side of the Galactic Republic. This tank can fire rockets individually from each side or unleash multiple missiles at once for devastating impact. Anakin's selection of appearances is now expanded with the General Skywalker appearance, a set of Jedi robes with armor that he wore during the early days of the Clone Wars. The 212th Recon Division and the 41st Scout Battalion are also joining the Clone Army as appearances. That's all for this update, but here's a peek at what we're bringing to Star Wars Battlefront 2 next, including the new planet Felucia, as well as new ways to play the game. More on the way! Thank you.